Hey there, Alan Matthews here from Classical Guitar Shed, and today we're going to be talking about how to continue to grow as a musician forever and ever on your own steam. Just a second. Well, one of the biggest detriments to a satisfying, lifelong musical hobby is the rut. Is whenever we fall into a rut and we seem like we're just not getting anywhere new. We're not making any progress. It's just the same old stuff. We're unenthused. We're a little bored with it. And we can't seem to break through to the next thing. Instead, wouldn't it be nice to be always improving, to be always growing as a musician, finding new things that we think are cool, and just continuing to get better and better and enjoying it all more and more. Well, to do that, one of the things that we can do is utilize the power of, cue the new age music here, the subconscious mind. So the subconscious mind is what's running in the background all the time. And it's really what's what is running the show. And we can use that to constantly grow. But how do we do that? Well, by using our conscious mind to ask questions. And ideally, open-ended questions. So whenever we ask an open-ended question, we can't not think about it. Our brains churn on it until we get an answer. And the beauty is, if there is no one answer, it'll continue to churn on it, especially if we ask the question over and over. So if I asked you for three days in a row, what color is the car that is two cars down from you in the parking lot? If I asked you that every single day, then you would start naturally just looking over there to see what color is that car. And we can do the exact same thing with our music. So what is an open-ended question? An open-ended question is one that doesn't have any particular answer. So it could be, how could this be more lovely? If I'm playing this, how could I make this more lovely? How could I make it cleaner? Um, how beautiful can I get the tone on this? These are open-ended questions. There's no particular answer to that. It's just something that we can churn on, right? Other examples would be, what would this be like if it were easy? I'm playing this hard passage, like evidently the one I just played a second ago was because it was so clumsy. So how could this be easy? What would, what would happen if I was relaxed in my body when I was playing this? Well, it's a little bit better then, but then we can still that's a daily question. We could ask that question forever. So these open-ended questions, and they could just be anything. And you can also do this. Um, what happened? How would it be to read music so much faster? Or how much more can I enjoy my practice today? Whatever it happens to be. Just any open-ended question where it's not just a yes or no question. There is just infinite number of possibilities to the answers. What this does over time, in each day you might or might not. So I'm, I just ask these questions and, and who cares? I, don't, I didn't really get an answer. Maybe I had a little bit of a change on something, but nothing really happened. What happens though is that if we ask these questions day in and day out, is that over time we form the habit of asking questions. We form the habit of being curious and exploring and experimenting and wondering what could be different. So that's the nature of a rut is that it's all the same and we're just kind of stuck in this spot. Instead, we get into the habit of expanding and looking for ways to expand, looking for things that could be different, looking for solutions instead of just being mired in the problem. And that, those habits are what lead us to grow. It's what lead us to listen to music differently, to practice differently, to seek out guidance perhaps, to try something new, to break out of our comfort zones. This is the long-term benefit of asking these questions. So in a particular practice, we may have some positive effects. Over the long term, by building these habits, we have massive positive effects. And that's what enable us to continue to grow and continue to be humble students instead of thinking that we already know everything. So such the way to go. Have fun with that. If you haven't subscribed to this channel, then by all means, please do. And with that, I bid you farewell. Have a wonderful day.